Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an artist painting skateboards on Saturday, painted four flowers on each skateboard. So we need to find the total number of flowers. Well, let's draw a picture. Let's go back here. So we have an artist painting 20 skateboards. So if we want to, right, this is what I want to do. I want to use this connect line feature and I'm going to put some skateboards together now. This is going to represent a skateboard. Now, the reason why I want it to represent a skateboard is because you see I've got one, two, I'm using the squares here, four squares in there. And so let's see if I can get my 20 skateboards. Now, that's a lot of skateboards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them, I'm going to draw an array. So let's put five in a row. All right. So I've got five, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four rows. Okay, so four rows of five, that's going to get me my 20. Right now I've got 10, so I just need to double that. I've got two rows of five, make 10. So I'm going to double that. I'm going to get four rows of five. It's going to make 20. So in case I didn't know the fact, if I draw a good representation here, I could actually just literally count the number of squares inside these skateboards. Now we know that skateboards aren't really squares, it's just a representation. So I'm not going to fill out all of this, even though I could. Let's just see how much we have for a row. If I can figure out how much I have for one row, right, what I could do is I could just use that as a skip count, right? So I've got 16 and 4, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just say, all right, I've got 20 in this row, which means in this row I'd have 20, in this row I'd have 20, and in this row I would have 20, okay? So then I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, or you can just add these up, right? And you can say, all right, I've got 80 flowers. So which equation could be used to find the total number of flowers, right? Well, let's see. Obviously, I see my 20 times 4, right? What that means is I've got 20 sets of 4. Now, what I ended up doing here is 4 sets of 20. But remember, these are related. Right, this is in the same fact family. Still ends up with 80. 20 divided by 4 makes 5. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If there are 20 skateboards and there's 4 on each, this means equal groups. So we're going to multiply or we're going to divide whenever you see anything that shows you equal groups. Well, you could technically divide, but then you would only get five total flowers. There's, there's more than five skateboards. There's 20 skateboards, so that's not going to work. And then you see on C and D, what we did here is we either added or we subtracted. So really, we just took the 20 and the 4, and the four answer choices are what happens when you multiply, divide, add, or subtract. Okay. What we also could have done is we could have drawn a strip diagram. What we're doing is we're looking for the total. That's the missing number. How many skateboards do we have? Well, 20. And I'm not going to draw all of them. We could just say there's 20 of them. And I'm just going to put a 4, right? Each skateboard has got, skateboard's got 4. So that's going to end up being, oh, I get it, 20 times 4. So that's another way to represent it. You also could do it in this array that I did here. Either way. Your answer is going to be A.